Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. The other day I placed an order on boots and I thought that I would unbox it for you today. Um, I had to, while I'm cutting into it, I had to order from boots because it's nearly my mum's partner's birthday and I remember that he likes Ted Baker kind of shower gels and stuff like that um, and I couldn't find them online anywhere else except Boots um, while I was on the website I found some stuff that I thought I might like because you know when you're buying presents for someone else you may as well, work, you may as well buy presents for yourself um, some like skincare and stuff I've run out of so I needed replacements and then on Boots there was like a few like three for two offers and stuff like that so I bought a couple of bits more than I needed to. This is all the stuff I got. Um, I don't have a receipt here so I'm not going to be able to give you prices. Um, some of them I can kind of remember but other ones I have no idea so I'm sorry about that. But let's get straight into it. Let's just start with his presents shall we. Um, I remember years ago I bought my mum's partner some Ted Baker shower gels and sprays and he really likes the purple one. When I was looking they've all changed now there's no like purple one anymore so I just thought for his present I'll buy him the three that were there uh, and then I got him a Toblerone because he loves Toblerone but um, this one's called Vintage Amber then we have Graphite Black is that how you say it? Graphite and then Sterling Blue Vintage Amber looks quite cool to me um, and yeah so I got him those they were £4.50 but then reduced to £3 so there were £9 for all of them oh hold on a minute I've got three more I'm gonna check I wasn't charged for all six of these I bought two of each what an idiot i was having some trouble signing in to boots so i went on my phone um and then it kind of saved my order from when i had tried to do it on my laptop so i just went yeah that looks about right and i bought everything um but i'd obviously added two of each thing okay um what i might do then is let's give <laughs> those three are going to be his and then let's give these three a sniff and what i'll probably do is give them to my partner it's his birthday in july graphite black doesn't smell that strong it smells like a typical men's shower gel sterling blue let's give this one a sniff oh how funny mm, sterling blue smells lighter and fresher i don't know why i'm giving a review on these but you know and then we've got vintage amber or oh richer lovely oh that's a good one um so yeah what i will probably do then is put these three towards my partner's birthday or it's my brother's birthday next month um yeah <laughs> whoops this box is just full of surprises. I've got this inside that I didn't even order and I have checked and I wasn't charged for it either, but maybe it was a free gift. It's the Dr. Palm hand gel with 75% alcohol. There's 100 ml of it here, which is, you know what, this is good. I always carry hand gel, especially because I'm working, like going into schools and stuff um, and playing with Lego and that. I always make sure I've got hand gel on me. So that's quite cool, a nice little free gift for spending the nine pound that I shouldn't have spent. <laughs> Um, let me show you the skincare I got. So Soap and Glory were an offer uh, and I got a couple of things from them. The first one is their Glow Your Mind Cleansing Balm. Uh, this is for all skin types. It's got vitamin C in it and it's 100ml. This is the packaging. Let's open it up. I have tried this before and I quite liked it. It wasn't like my favourite balm ever. However, this was less than £10. Um, I did have a look to see if the, uh, what's it called, the oat cleansing balm was like on offer or anything. It wasn't. I feel like Boots were selling it for about £12 and then this was cheaper. It looks like nothing's in there, doesn't it? This consistency, I remember, like to touch it, it feels quite like, it feels like oily but like quite hard. 
and even when you try and get some out of here it feels quite hard but it melts to like an oil um and it is really nice to be fair so there's that i can't smell anything either so um yeah i got the cleansing balm and then i also got i was looking for a vitamin c serum i nearly bought the nip and fab one which is my favorite one i've ever used i like it because it's more of a gel texture which is great for oily skin and then i saw this that was cheaper this was probably on offer for about eight pounds and i bought it to try it's the glow with it 10 percent vitamin c serum uh 25 ml here it comes with a little pipette which makes me think it might be quite like an oily serum who knows uh this is the packaging so you can't see like how much is left but i really love soap and glory's packaging i think it's so cute let's oh let's get some out on the back of my hand that was a tiny bit okay it looks really oily but that's just gone into my skin and actually dried matte um so i think i might actually really like that i love i just love their packaging it's so cute okay so we've got those then boots had an offer three for two on selected boots skincare so i bought a couple of things so i needed another cleanser i wanted like a second cleanser or a morning cleanse um because i'm just running out i'm using the same two and then they run out and i picked up this boots vitamin c brightening cleansing gel for all skin types 100 ml here and i will definitely use that in the mornings um i, I bought another cleanser as well <laughs> which I might use as my second cleanse in the evenings and kind of save this one for the mornings. I'm hoping that this one will smell quite like citrusy and kind of be nice, a nice smell in the mornings, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, I bought that. I can't remember how much it was. And I also needed a new like hyaluronic acid kind of mist. And I bought this. This is their Glow Brightening Mist. Uh, there is 100 ml here. This has sodium hyaluronate in it because um, i remember googling it and it was like oh it's a type of hyaluronic acid or it's it's a it's derived from hyaluronic acid or something like that um and so yeah i bought that um and then because it was three for two i was like what else can i get from this from this section of stuff that's on three for two and so i decided to go for this this is the boots glow pineapple serum uh it smooths and cares for skin there is 30 ml here um and i bought it inside is niacinamide and then I also think, yeah, there's that sodium hyaluronate again. Um, so yeah, I think this would be like a nice evening serum. Um, I wonder if it smells like pineapples. Let's give it a sniff. It does smell like pineapples. I can confirm it does. Oh, lovely. Um, and I've kind of like put that on my hand and it's very like glowy. Um, so yeah, good for the evenings. Okay, lovely. I love pineapple. Who else loves pineapple? Now, I saw another cleanser by Neutrogena. And the only reason I went for this, one, it was on offer, but two, I had literally just clicked on a Caroline Hyron's article about second cleanses and she recommended this. Uh, and then I saw it for, on offer for about £5 something and I decided to buy it. This is their Hydro Boost Cleanser Water Gel. Boost hydration, leaves skin refresh, refreshingly clean and touchably supple with hyaluronic acid inside. I thought that would be great for a second cleanse in the evening. Maybe not for the morning. It depends how like hydrated and glowy it makes you look. Um, and yeah. So I thought I'd buy that for only like five pounds something. I was like, I'll try that. And then I kind of fell down a hair care um, hole. I've never cared about my hair. Um, if you can even tell, I put my hair in plaits yesterday, slept in it, and now it's like a little bit wavy. But it just, there's no definition there because it's all just like one like dark colour. Um, I have thought about getting like curtain bangs or something i would like to have a couple of different like highlights and low lights in my hair just so then when it's plaited or wavy you can actually tell more um but that costs money doesn't it um but anyway i kind of fell down this hair care hole i also have split ends at the moment so i am going to cut my hair soon just like chop the ends off 
Um, I never get my hair cut from like a professional or anything, um, but I want to look after my ends a bit more. Um, I want to start using like more serums in my hair. And I also needed some heat protection. So I found these L'Oreal Elvive things and a lot of the serums and stuff had heat protection in them and seemed to kind of do similar things and I did get a bit confused but this is what I went for. They were on three for two as well I think. I went for the Dream Lengths Heat Slayer, the Iron Spray with vitamins and castor oil you leave this in it's a heat has a heat damage shield smooths and detangles three days sleek also when i look for heat protection i look for ones that say they can be used on dry hair because i don't blow dry my hair or anything but i do straighten it um so yeah this you just spray it onto damp or dry hair and then you can straighten it and i straighten my hair um you know good luck maybe a couple of times a week um and so i thought that would be quite good then I saw this, which is their no haircut cream. This is a leave-in cream for your hair. It helps seal split ends and reduces breakage, which is kind of what I want. This also gives you heat protection. You can apply it before using heat appliances and you can use it on wet or dry hair. Uh, so yeah, lovely. The um, heat slayer protects up to 230 degrees Celsius, whereas the no haircut cream protects up to 180 degrees celsius and i don't know how hot my ghds are i need to look at that um but yeah i just thought that this no haircut cream i don't know would be nice to just try maybe it will help the ends of my hair and reduce the amount of split ends i get i don't know and then i see i was looking into like oils for your hair as well and serums and stuff and i just went for this uh this is a mousse the last time I used mousse in my hair was when I was probably a teenager and I used to have like hair that was like to here to, to like my shoulders and I would put mousse in it when it was wet and scrunch it up and it would go a little bit wavy. Ah, but this is the Dream Lengths 24 hour scented hair, wow, okay, uh, Waves Waterfall Mousse with vitamins and castor oil, non-crunchy, non-sticky, instant moisture, soft and bouncy waves, up to 48 hours hold and definition for long wavy hair. Lovely. I basically just thought, I because I want to do more with my hair and I want to curl it more, um, I'm thinking for my 30th birthday, even though that's not until December, of asking for one of those brushes that dries your hair at the same time like a like a blow dry brush um and yeah i'm thinking that i want to maybe curl my hair more do more with my hair and maybe when i do curl my hair using a mousse might help because i have quite long hair and my hair is naturally it's quite straight it goes a bit wavy but it is quite straight curls just don't really last in my hair my hair is fine if i put product in it kind of weighs it down like hairspray etc i have long hair that also weighs it down um and so yeah even like i had the plaits in um and slept in them i know that i've done plaits before and really for the curls to stay i've had the plaits in for like two days um so yeah i don't know i just want to do more with my hair and I thought I'd buy a mousse and I can use that when it's wet um, and then you know when it's dry curl my hair and see if it makes a difference who knows um, but that is everything that I got from Boots I hope you enjoyed this little haul um, I can't believe that I ordered two lots of the shower gels and I didn't even notice uh, <laughs> but hey at least I got a free hand gel <laughs> um, but yeah I want to try and do more things with my hair I needed some skincare bits um luckily like because of the the lovely box that marcia got me i didn't need to um buy more moisturizer or um i didn't need more serum but then i got this pineapple one because it was on the three for two um and so yeah that's lovely um and so i didn't need to buy lots and lots of stuff um but yeah there we go let me know if you have tried anything new recently i really kind of want to buy some more like lipsticks and stuff because i'm aware i always kind of revolve around like the same five or six lipsticks um it's just like money thing isn't it really i don't need new lipsticks so i'm not necessarily going to go out and buy them um i also miss the days 
tell me if anyone else feels like this since covid like i used to just go into town go into boots or super drug have a look around swatch lipsticks and i just don't do that anymore like i'm never even in town anymore um and i used to be in there so much more but i think the pandemic is just i don't know ordering online is easier um yeah it's odd isn't it um but thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you next weekend in my next one